Hello there and welcome to Let's Play God of War 2 HD. This is going to be a full playthrough on Titan, the hardest difficulty. And it's on the PlayStation 3 God of War Collection version. I will possibly show some of the bonus content off, which came with God of War 2 as well on a separate DVD disc, with pretty much all copies. And this is pretty much the extent of the HD collection. But for do, let's boot up God of War 2. Alright, let's get the full scream up and... Did I say scream? I mean scream. Now, Titan is quite similar to the God difficulty from the last game in that you have to unlock it by completing the game once on any difficulty. However, beyond that, very hard difficulty from this point on in the series is very different from very hard in the first game. There is quite a bit of difference, like from one thing, orb values generally change, and I think a lot of attacks do become instant kills. Don't quote me on the last part, but that's just what I've generally heard. I can confirm the former, though, having played the games on very hard numerous times. This icon, the sword, basically shows a bonus play. Bonus play is a new game plus, which Blade of Olympus is something in the plot, or is a power of something when we're showing up as well. And it also shows you everything else. It also lets you choose a costume, which is Kratos, God of War, Hydra Armor, Dark Odyssey, Athena, Hercules, General Kratos, and God Armor. Now, I'm not doing that, but if you do start a regular new game, you unfortunately actually cannot use a costume. You just start with just default creatives. This also applies to the other difficulties as well, but without further ado, let's begin the God of War 2 on Titan difficulty. May Athena have mercy on my soul. By defeating Ares, Kratos, the once mortal warrior, became the new God of War. However, Kratos soon found himself alone on Olympus, shunned by his fellow gods. But Kratos had no need for the love of petty gods. He had found a new family in the warriors of Sparta, gaining solace from his past and calling to battle. My lord, Kratos! Another city is ready to fall! Soon all shall know the glory of Sparta! Enough, Kratos! With every city you destroy, the wrath of Olympus grows. Soon I will no longer be able to protect you. I need no protection. Do not forget that it was I who made you a god, Ghost of Sparta. Do not turn your back on me. I owe you nothing. Then you leave me no choice. Kratos had turned the pain of his memories into hatred. Hatred for the gods, who had refused to free him from the nightmares of his past deeds. And so he went to Rhodes to deliver the final blow to the besieged city. Okay, so we're back to normal size, and we have these soldiers who I can just smash like that, and we actually have full maxed out weapons at the start. Venus Blade from the last game, Poseidon's Rage, which sucks now. And we have 
why we have all of these teams something organized beyond me because we have full health and magic at the start. Science Rage. Burns of Power are collectibles, which there's six of them in the game. There's a trophy if you find them. So I will be showing that off. There is actually one not too far from where we are, though. There's actually a stat screen this time around. You can see we got one brutal kill so far and two kills. It's also where you show the urns, which I will show off in a bonus part. You can also see that the L1 tracks, the L1 attacks are quite different this time around. They're actually quite useful in my honest to god opinion. I can honestly say that you will definitely find some use for them in general combat and swing around. But I will say this though, God of War 2 is no walk in the park. This is in my opinion the hardest game in the series. But it was also actually one of my favorite games of all time. It is that good. They really racked up things. And the story is generally good. The audio even got a kick. And I believe this game... I'm trying to show off triangle lifts. No. These guys are interrupting me. And also, um, we have this new attack triangle you press. You just move the joystick and then the right joystick and then you have that triangle attack and it sucks. I should not have taken that much damage. I act unlike Ratchet and Clank or Commando, I did play this game somewhat recently on very hard in the past. Um, back in January during my Christmas break. I probably should have done it earlier, but oh well. And I'll show you guys up the triangle stuff. Lifting into the air isn't that much different. It still works well, as well as general juggling. That would help, Zeus. I can also honestly say this L1 triangle attack is my, one of my favorite animations in the game. It looks so awesome. The raining hellfire. Anyway, yeah, that orbs thing, that's the main difference in what makes it so hard compared to the first game. It really matters. If you see how slow my health increases, that means if I didn't have full health, I was like near death. I would only have half health, exactly. Normally, the health match just gives you full health magic. That's not going to be the case this time around. If you had no real problems in God of War's God difficulty, you probably will be able to get into this fairly easily, but it's still not going to be walking apart, trust me. And we have our first boss, Class of Rhodes, one of the many marvels of the world. When it smashes the hand on you, I recommend you use the side of rage. Because of the instability frames, it, it gives you help make up for that. As for the soldiers, they're really not a problem, honestly. Well, it is worth noting that, unlike God of War the original, this game has kind of suffered a bit from the conversion process. It's really not that noticeable unless you're a veteran like I am. about the first phase. Oh, man, do I definitely like this boss with the Hydra. I mean, it's a pretty epic boss, and this is a generally epic battleground. I like. Oh, just over here, we need it. Oh, magic chest. I believe Kratos has an idea on that ball ahead of his. Launching himself. So, while the statue goes about destroying the rest of Rhodes and hopefully not killing our Spartan Featherin, let's look around! Mm. 
I tell you people, I'm never gonna get tired of that stuff. Whenever I have to censor that. Oh, that's classy. That's really classy, Santa Monica. I actually have not really seen a statue like that in some time. I wonder if they've gone out of style. Oh, the implications! <laughs> is a god. Thank you, ladies, for entertaining the viewers. Uh, assuming I can even show any of that. Because they're actually, I actually, in my god, where James Willem is walkthrough, I actually did get a strike for uploading the sex minigame. Am I behind? It's actually not nearly as risk as this one at god horrors, because you can't even see their breasts. Apparently, I actually have a part or something. I don't know. But, whatever. I mean, frankly, the strike is gone, but it still pissed me off. Anyway, Zeus is giving me opportunity to save your progress. As you can see, these are my first files. Back in July, almost a year ago, actually, when I first, when I got my game, a copy back. Because I sold my first copy to play for Pokemon Black. Because they were have games that was having a special deal where if you bought a game from them and you sell it back, you would actually get some extra money on it. Either way, a finish is actually not too long after my birthday. So here. And I actually have to BRP, but yeah, I'm gonna mostly be showing that because. I have gotten a lot of naysayers making claims that this is not very hard, which I get on all my walkers, and I actually, I know that I am not the only victim of that. I watch a bunch of other videos where I know that the person was in fact playing on very hard or on the claim difficulty that they say in the walk in their difficulty, not the difficulty in the description, and then they got all sorts of claims from people who not only didn't make it their own videos, but. They had like no real base, they just said shit like, Oh, I can't do it on this difficulty, so neither could you, which is kind of an, a dick move to say. I mean, just because you suck doesn't mean someone else could do it. Anyway, I just saw those orbs actually did not get added to my overall count, as did those. Kind of sucks, that's going to become a problem! I'm trying to curb stop Kratos just because he has his godly power. Don't think too highly of yourself, Bob. And let's see. This open. Thank you, it doesn't actually hurt Kratos. And I see a um, prompt up there. Either way, yeah, the orbs. The orbs being decreased, I kind of like that actually. It shows that this is not just a standard run of the bill, unlockable, hardest difficulty. They actually really did go a little out of their way to ensure that players would not have an easy run. Like, you'll have an easy run if you beat God of War on hard and then you go to very hard in the original. But in this game and later ones, not so much. But again, none of the games are as hard as this one. I can honestly say that with a fact. And then, of course, when the statue rears back and uh, this, use Sion's Rage. Thankfully, that Eagle Witch was apparently a Athena or something. Did not actually take the Sion's Rage away. It took away the other crap magic. Of course, I'll admit, I do miss my army of Hades. And of course, we have another circle. I'll admit, I love Golf War soundtrack. It really gets me in a kick-ass mood. Like, I really do feel like I'm gonna be able to just hit, just destroy this giant statue, this wonder of the world. The Golf War actually is one of the seven wonders of the world, so you guys know. I do want to see most of the wonders sometime. 
Like, I think Niagara Girls falls for them in the top hall, which being an Indian, I should have seen at this point, but of course I wouldn't. Because my life sucks. Either way, there's not much else to this. Um, most of it, none of its attacks are blockable. That's basically the case of all God of War bosses. This thing's gonna be no exception. That's why I recommend you just use the Science Rage to to get to use its ability frames to your advantage. I can probably have to just spam the hell out of it at this point. But then again, I have my art, my Spirit of Hercules combo, which. You guys know how I love that in God of War. And it's never gonna change. I see what you're trying to do there. 